Hello Amazon.com, it's me Bo Shevasu coming to you today with this Beretta APX. It's not a real gun, it is a BB gun, but it feels like a real gun and therefore I will be treating it like a real gun also. Now, this does actually come with a uh, the ability to, well, put a, a little CO2 cartridge in there, which you screw that. Hey, you know what? I'm just gonna start from the very beginning and actually show you how this functions first, because first of all, safety right there, and then we also have uh, red is dead. So if we were to um, actually pull the trigger, there's no CO2, so it's not gonna go off, but still, it's in a safe direction. Originally, when there was CO2 in here, this actually has a blowback function. So it goes all the way back and then all the way forward every time you pull the trigger. So you go like this, and it goes kapoosh, like that. A uh, fairly loud sound, so if you're gonna be doing this in your backyard in a suburban type neighborhood, they're probably gonna hear you, so not recommended. Uh, as for the functionality of dropping the magazine, it is precisely like a, a, uh, a conventional APX. So if you actually wanted to purchase this thing to do some training, to actually uh, get a hold of the, get used to the ergonomics, uh, highly recommended to get something like this, especially since it's a fraction of the price compared to the actual firearm itself. Um, I've actually heard of people going out and buying replica type BB guns like this just to see if they like the ergonomics before they're dropping five, six, seven hundred bucks on a handgun. Uh, so that's very smart. Always go based off of what feels good for you. But anyway, back to this. So mag drop right there. And of course, it is a BB gun mag. You're not gonna put any real bullets in there. And uh, the, it's, it's kind of a pain to load because of course this is spring loaded. So you have to bring it all the way down like that and then gently drop them in. Uh, do note that when you, this goes up, it is spring loaded. It goes all the way up and all of your BBs can fly out if you do that too hard. So be gentle loading the BBs or they're gonna be everywhere. Once the BBs are actually in there, pop that up. You don't necessarily have to rack it. Just make sure that uh, it is off safety and your CO2 canister is in there, and then you can go. There you go. Now, how to actually get to the CO2 canister itself, it's a little difficult, but it's actually hidden back here. Uh, and so what I have found is you really have to kind of yank that out right there, and there you can see that right there. Now, of course, it is dead, as evidenced by the fact that I was trying to pull the trigger earlier and nothing was going. Uh, but when you remove the mag, you can see inside the mag well is a little tiny thing here, and you unscrew this, which then loosens this. So, so this is uh, kind of like a little plunger. When you twist this, it pushes down and it keeps this in place. And so when you get a fresh one of these, there will be no hole right there. When you get a fresh one, you pop it in like this, turn that down, you'll hear a little pss as it engages. Uh, and this was sitting in here for about a week. Eventually it will actually lose some of its um, CO2, which is a shame, but you know, there's always a tiny, tiny little small leak when it comes to these kind of things. Um, uh, unless in your particular case, it lasts longer. That's great, let me know, that's pretty awesome. Uh, but anyway, so that is it. I'm gonna throw away that. These are actually fairly reasonably priced as well. I'd recommend that you oh, pick up a good five, 10, 15 pack. And uh, as for how long it lasted, oh man, we popped in one of these. We went through probably five or six mags and still there was enough CO2 in there to keep going. Now granted, it does start to lose its power a little bit, um, but even, even that, it was okay just because we had a cardboard target up and, uh, and it worked just fine just to do some uh, ergonomic type practicing, some, some quick fire or quick draw drills. And we're gonna actually put this back like that, put this back together. And so that goes in there, right there. And then lastly, that drops in like that. Um, so that's it. Uh, uh, oh, oh, last kind of cherry on top, which is kind of legit. Well, let's put the safety on just in case, there we go. Uh, one last thing is probably a pretty neat selling point is that when it's actually depleted and out of BBs, it does actually lock back like that, uh, which is pretty neat. And so of course to re-engage that is that little guy right there. And this right here is a great way of actually determining whether or not the Beretta APX is the right fit for your hand. Five out of five stars. My name is Bo Shevasu. Hopefully you enjoyed this. I will catch you later.